Good evening, Mark. Uh, we're ahead of the promotion final, the Vanarama National League South promotion final, here against Hartford on Saturday. First of all, we'll briefly touch on Dorking because it was a big effort to get here in the semi-final against a very good team. Uh, you must have been extremely proud of your players for not giving in when they went to 2-2 and Yemi pops up with a crucial winner there to get us here. Yeah, absolutely. I think it was a, an emotional roller coaster of a day. Of a day. I think it was always going to be. Um, yeah, I think we were magnificent on the day, um, considering we hadn't played for four months and everything which was at stake. Um, you know, I think the way we handled the situation and then being pegged back so late um, after being for 2 0 for so long, it's so hard to swing momentum back in games of football. But boy, did we do that. You know, it almost, the goal almost galvanised us. It almost just made us go and play with a little bit more freedom and we almost just dropped a gear when we needed to be and uh, unfortunately we did and we've done enough and it, it was always about just getting that win you know we just had to win the game we didn't have to be the best football team on the day we didn't have to do anything else we needed to win a game of football and, and our boys showed um, a lot of solidarity a lot of grit determination um, you know to win that game of football and we, we raced into a 2-0 lead and then you know the finishing line so far and so much at stake it's, it's a hard one to manage and uh, the boys managed it really well, and then that the next goal was always going to be vital. And you know, unfortunately, they got it. Felt a bit aggrieved. Tom Whelan was harshly, you know, wrestled to the floor as he's heading it clear. The ref missed it, and then and that's that's all it needs. You know, they overloaded the back stick, and and then we, um, you know, where we had a man on the floor, we, we we didn't defend it as well as we had defended all that day. And then well, as soon as it happens, that goal, they've got nothing to lose. We've got everything to lose, and it, it's a tricky tricky moment. But um, you know, we we managed the game. Well enough to get the point, uh, to get the win. And it's in keeping with your team, isn't it? Sort of going until the end, not 90 minutes, but 98 mm. if you have to play 98 minutes and popping up with that, them late winners. It's it's something that's been a pattern with your teams. And you, I remember Manchester United teams of the past and teams like that, the good teams play until the end, don't they? And that's something that I think is, is a pattern of your sides. Absolutely. And I think it shows the belief in the group. We never know when we're beaten. We're, we'll never roll over. And we'll always give it our absolute best. We have a way of doing things and we'll stick to it from the first minute to the last minute. And uh, that's certainly the case on Saturday. We have to show a lot of character. And, uh, you know, like I said, on, on the day for such a youthful team, we show maturity beyond our years. And uh, we certainly did that day. We, we could have, you know, lost ourselves or in, in, amongst the, in amongst the moment. We could have, our heads could have dropped. We could have felt the pressure of the momentum swinging. We didn't. We, we stepped up a gear when we needed to again. And um, yeah, I'm delighted with the boys and I'm, I'm hoping we'll be a lot more better for it because it's a long time since we've played a game of football, especially a football so much at stake as well. So um, yeah, I think we'll be better for it this Saturday after, you know, almost dusting off the cobwebs a little bit last week. And it's Dartford. They uh, have, have come through slough and haven't to get to the final. Uh, I know you know the manager very well and, and the team very well. It's a change team from when we last played them, of course, way back earlier on in the season uh, here at the Bob Lucas Stadium. Obviously, it, it really does go without saying that it's going to be an immense challenge once again. Yeah, the, and, and any team we would have faced in these playoffs is going to be a huge challenge. And I said, you know, what a credit all these teams are to the Conference South and what, what standard what standard it is. And yeah, a huge challenge awaits. I think Steve Kings is his fifth playoff final. Um, you know, he's got assembled a great side there. They're in, in, in great form. They finished the season at a canter and they've taken that into the playoffs. So, yeah, they're going to be a difficult opposition. But as of all of our teams that we've played this year have been, been a challenge, we, we, we know this group likes challenges and hopefully we'll rise to this one as well. Absolutely. It seems, you know, teams won't enjoy coming here either, will they? I mean, so it's very easy to talk about opposition and things like that, but teams won't enjoy their games here and they know that they're in for a tough game as well with your team. Yeah, hopefully, you know, they'll, they'll, you know, I'm not sure what they think of us or how, how they'll approach the game, but all we can concern ourselves with is, is, is in our process and how we prepare and, and, and how, you know, hopefully we'll, you know, how we perform on Saturday is basically down to us. We, you know, we, we know they possess good strengths and, uh, you know, we need to be respectful of that. But at the same time, you know, we need to focus on ourselves and get our own game plan. You're coming towards the end of your third full season in charge of Weymouth. Um, the town is buzzing, I can tell you that. It, you know, there's people walking around with the Terrace family shirts mm -hmm. on and it is the talk of the town. Is this the biggest game of your managerial career so far? Yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, but I always say that the next game is always the biggest game. And there's, yeah, look, there's no hiding from it. It's, it's, it's a huge moment for the, for the club, for the town, for everyone associated with it. Because, 
you know where where this club's come in a short space of time has uh, has, has been a rapid rise, and um, you know we we're not finished yet. We want to you know we, we, we dare to dream, but at the moment I, we can't allow ourselves to get carried away, and you know it's, it's obviously an exciting time, but it's a, it's a time this week for calmness, clarity, and us focusing on our roles, our responsibilities, and us you know sticking to our process. We've got. A, enormous belief in ourselves and you know we've got to believe in ourselves more than we ever have before because you know we've we've got a, we've got a great chance you know one game but like I said we we can't take our eye off the prize absolutely and just finally a message for the supporters because they're you know, like I just said then they're they're walking around the town along the beach with their terrace family shirts it's brilliant to see and somebody that, that's been at the club for a long time like myself it's been a long way in the making for that to happen again uh, they can't be here. We've, we've mentioned that a few times now, and it, it does get a little bit repetitive. But a message for them because the excitement's obviously building, and, and they're very proud of the team you've assembled. And I'm sure they'll be rooting for us wherever they're watching the game around the world. Yeah, absolutely. Look, we know they're not here in person, but we know they're here in spirit. And um, you know, we hope to represent them the best that we possibly can, and we and we really hope to do them proud. And you know, we we, we like you know hope that we're you know celebrating at the end with with, with them, or you know. Um, you know, down at the seafront or wherever it may be, you know, or to, to the next time we meet again, we hope that we, you know, we're standing in front of them. But what I can say is that this group, and I think the fans know that and have seen it, that how hard the group and the players have worked and, and they'll be doing their absolute best. I, I know that. Absolutely. Mark, thank you very much for joining me. We'll see you on Saturday. Thank you. See you Saturday. Thank you.